Tonight, we're taking a break from our on-campus series of Life Revealed in preparation for our 4th of July celebration. This Friday, July 3rd at 8 o'clock, we're going to be having a time of worship on the lawn, followed by a fireworks show after dark. Bring a lawn chair and come enjoy a time of worship and fellowship while maintaining a safe social distance. Also, Kona Ice is going to be here from 8 to 9.30. You can even come and enjoy the evening from the comfort of your car. That big comfy seat in your air conditioning, it'll be like you're there with the rest of us, only a little bit more comfortable. And you get to maintain an extra level of social distance. Also, the worship set is going to be available for you to tune in on your car radio. For now, though, I want to recap some things that we've heard in the past three weeks and point us towards what we're going to be learning in the coming month. Our series on Life Revealed has us looking at what is revealed about who we really are when we're faced with a crisis. The obvious crises that we are facing individually within our church and in our nation right now are factors that work to peel away the layers and walls that we've put up. And it helps to reveal some things that we'd probably rather not consider. And certainly none of us look forward to things going bad, our plans and schedules being thrown out the window, and having to take time to slow down and truly contemplate our inner lives. It's still a necessary step in order for us to grow beyond this moment. I'm not here tonight to offer advice to the world at large or sermonize about how the plethora of problems facing us could be solved, but rather to encourage each of us to consider what we've heard the past few weeks and really internalize it. Maybe tonight, take a break from Disney Plus and discuss some of the things that you've learned. Did you take that quiz on emotionally healthy spirituality that Pastor Chantry shared in his class? If you didn't, then stop right now. Like seriously, pause the video and go take it. Just Google emotionally healthy spirituality quiz, or maybe I can talk him into adding a link in the notes. Were you surprised by the results of that quiz? Assuming you've taken it. Discuss those with your spouse or a close friend or Maybe pull your kids in for this conversation. Have you stopped and considered your emotional responses to the things going on around you as we discussed in the lesson on the heart? Have you taken those opportunities to turn to God in prayer or to search out scripture? Personally, every week after teaching on what our emotions can tell us about our view of the world at large and our relationship with God, I was presented with fresh opportunities to consider my emotional reactions and responses to the nightly news or a disagreement with a friend or my interactions with my kids. And one thing I have learned is that I have a lot to learn about surrendering my emotional responses to God and filtering my reactions to the principles of the Word of God. What about your spiritual disciplines? Have you taken time since hearing that lesson to work to make sure that they are healthy and not being ignored? I know, it's a lot, but every step of this journey is worth it. If we can face the realities of who we are in the middle of a crisis, then we just might develop into the kind of person that others depend on in a crisis. But we don't get there by accident. We get there by diligently working to become the men and women that God has called us to be, striving in this together. I don't think it's any accident that the Apostle Paul compares our lives and our walk with God to a race or to physical labor, encouraging us to press towards the mark of the prize of the high calling and reminding us that we will reap at the appointed time if we're mindful not to grow weary in this work. We look forward to seeing what we're gonna learn about in July. Our sessions of Life Revealed are gonna discuss things such as relationships, our habits, and more. And the final session in July will be a combined session in the sanctuary that you will not wanna miss. And don't worry, even if you haven't been able to attend every session, the videos from June on the heart, spiritual disciplines, and emotional health will be available soon. And each week in July, the sessions are going to be streamed and later made available as a collection of the entire series for you to go back and watch. Thank you for joining us for Life Revealed this past month, and we look forward to seeing what we learn in the month of July. God bless.